Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to look at the budget-friendly Auric chassis by MDT. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at the Auric chassis by MDT. This is one of the most budget friendly chassis options available on the market today. They've been out for a few years. In full disclosure, uh, I did not get this free, but I did get a nice little discount from MDT, uh, the folks over there, uh, to uh, get it in, do a review, and I'm going to change up my precision rifle and I wanted to do this. Uh, if you follow my channel, for ever since the beginning I've tried being budget friendly. Uh, with everything that I review uh, that I feel like is a good value and uh, after much research I decided to go with the Oric chassis. Uh, these run about $399, $400. Uh, they're, if you get in, if you're looking at chassis you understand this already going into this. Um, they're, they can be really really expensive like as much or more than some of the firearms you're trying to maybe even consider putting it in. So that's why I reached out to them. I thought this would be a great fit for the channel and a great fit for my new build I'm working on. I'm updating a uh, Savage Model 10 and uh, thought this would be great. It's going to come in this box here. Uh, nothing too fancy. It's just a uh, nice little box, cardboard box that uh, looks kind of like a gun, gun box shape. But uh, put that over here to the side. So we'll take a look at the uh, chassis itself. The cool thing about this chassis compared to a lot that are out there Kind of give you a good view of it here. My video partner, my son, is not uh, here today. Um, he's out doing something with his mom. So, uh, pardon the camera work as I'm trying to go through this. So, uh, the cool thing about this thing is all aluminum from start to end. All, what you see, these green panels here, they're actually polymer. However, the uh, polymer... Uh, panels here are replaceable so they offer some different colors at the time of purchase of this they only had uh, green which I was fine with that's exactly how I would have ordered it is in this green and uh, the, the other cool thing about this company is some of the things that you may or may not want you can kind of buy them uh, a la carte I say you, you can add it and not or whatever you need and that's kind of what I did and I'll talk about that as we go along here what exactly I ordered uh, extra from the stock so the stock itself now granted it's already in you know my, my farm's already in the chassis and everything so but what you're going to get is the uh, chassis this uh, pistol grip comes in it and and this right here this butt stock back here is all one piece one unit and it does come with it with the butt pad and everything so a lot of times if you look at chassis and I've seen complaints or negative reviews because people look at chassis on you know name whatever your popular website is that's selling chassis and it shows a complete firearm well they order it thinking they're getting the butt stock and the pistol grip and all that once they get it in they do not it's just literally the front part of the chassis you have to add everything else that's extra more money to spend all that with this setup it all comes as you see it here uh, with the chassis uh, butt stock and the pistol grip all in one uh, unit so we're going to start at the back and kind of work our way forward here Again, all this is aluminum uh, with these panels. It does have adjustable uh, length of pull, but that is done. Uh, one of the ways they cut price on this to keep the price low, if you some of the fancier uh, uh, chassis, they have like quick adjust and all this stuff. This is done by uh, plates or spacers that you add or take away. The, it comes with one spacer. You do have to add uh, in your cart if you want to add more spacers. Uh, it's like, I think, $20. Don't hold me to these prices, guys, because I didn't buy the spacers, so I don't really know for sure. But it's a pretty reasonable price uh, for the spacer kit if you need to add length of pull. Now, myself, I've got a fairly short length of pull. So what uh, I did, it comes with one spacer from the factory. I removed it, actually. So I've got an extra spacer now that I don't need. So butt pad, nah, it's kind of spongy, but nothing too, you know, overly, um, you know, uh, soft or anything. So it's just a rubber butt pad. 
this bipod you see here, a monopod, I'm sorry, uh, does not come with it. And they've changed the stock around uh, a little bit. The, some of the original uh, Auric chassis had a, like a, I guess, a QD uh, release uh, buttonhole, you know, a hole back here. Uh, they've done away with that, and they've added an M-lock section at the bottom. Now, what I did with mine is I added a piece of Picatinny rail to add my monopod. So, if you wanted, if you're going to use a sandbag exclusively and not going to worry about that, you could add a stud back here for your sling. Now, I opted to use one of these uh, for it. This does not come with it. This is the I've talked about these in the past. These are like I don't know nine dollars for like three of them in in my Amazon store. These little D-ring style that simply use. I don't know if I can get the buckle around, but it just buckles on. And um, then I've got this sling here that uh, attaches like that. So, all right. So this is adjustable. Let me turn this around real quick for you guys. I want to show you something. <coughs> so hang on one second, guys. Let me get reset back up here. All right. So this uh, cheek rest is adjustable. However, when you order it, it's going to come with uh, Allen screws, not these thumb screws. So these thumb screws you can raise and lower it just like that take it all the way out whatever you need to do put it back in and then adjust these down now um, these you can reverse to the other side if it's, that's the way you want it I like having it adjustable from I'm right-handed so everything I do is on the right side of the rifle for the most part so I like just being able to reach up here if I need to make a minor adjustment for that uh, this little bullet loop holder did not come with it I've added that and again I'm gonna do another video uh, showing my rifle setup once we get going um, after I get the build complete and get it sighted in and things like that all right, so on this cheek rest, while we're talking about it, what you see here, these um, pieces here, I've added those. And I'll show you what I did. And this, I actually uh, put all this in my Amazon store also. So these are pieces of Velcro. This is a, a piece of neoprene that you buy. And what I did, you could, do, you could do this a few different ways. You could just cut the neoprene out to size and stick it on there. You could just use this kind of uh, cloth portion of the Velcro, like I have here, and just stick it on there. What I opted to do is I want to be able to switch these out. So I took this neoprene, the uh, plastic loop portion, uh, or hook portion, I guess, and mated it together, because both of these are peel-off sticky on either one, mated it together, then trimmed it, and now I've made a couple extra of these. So I have like four of these now and I can switch them out if they get damaged or get, uh, you know, whatever, get dirty, I don't know. Uh, but I can switch them out, toss them, you throw them away, get another one and uh, replace it. And this right here gives you a little more comfort, especially like say in the winter, uh, when this plastic or polymer is going to be really cold against your cheek or in the summer when you're sweating, you're not going to slide as much, uh, things like that. So uh, just something easy. They're not that expensive. Again, I, they're in my Amazon store, so I think they're in the precision rifle section, uh, precision shooting section. But just want to tell you that I did add that. All right, so let's keep looking here. This pistol grip is removable, so it's any AR-15 style pistol grip will work here. Uh, this is their uh, one of their versions. They have a few different ones, and uh, this one in particular uh, is kind of a overmold style, little rubbery kind of grip, nice palm swells, and uh, so forth. Again, being all one uh, section, one piece here, one thing they've done is added thumb rest here. So I shoot right-handed, so I would actually shoot like this. Go ahead and open up this action, clear the firearm, show you that. So I would actually put my thumb on this side, and it's, I can get a nice 90 degree uh, uh, for the trigger pull um, back here like this. So works great whether you're right or left-handed kind of thing. And you have to order it right or left-handed specific, so make sure you're checking that out. Also, when you order this, it's going to come with some action screws. So make sure you're using their action screws, and they tell you how many foot-pounds of torque and all that good stuff. So just make sure you're using theirs. Uh, the Savage in particular has two action screws that I was able to uh, put right in. And it's a little tricky kind of get it all lined up and get going, but once you do it, you're fine. All right, so somebody's going to ask what type of magazines. So this chassis is set up to run the Accuracy International family of magazines. So 
I actually ordered a MDT Offers magazines, and that's what I ordered two of them, and that's what I did. So these right here are really nice, uh, heavy-duty polymer construction. I've already loaded them, and then I didn't take it to the range and shoot, but I have ran the bolt uh, two or three times through two or three uh, cycles of magazines being full. So I loaded it uh, 10 rounds closed bolt, loaded it in. Obviously, it's going to be a little hard to push in the first time uh, with 10 rounds in the bolt closed, but it, it will work. And uh, then cycled 10 rounds with no issues or problems. So that was great. So one thing I want to show you real quick. So make sure, because you may wonder this. All right, so on a, you need to, on the Savage in particular, and every rifle is a little bit different, there's a way to remove your bolt, right? On the factory rifle, there's a little tab in front of right here at the trigger guard. You pull back and at the same time pull in the trigger and it releases your uh, bolt. Now, with this, you don't have that anymore because you've now switched to a chassis. However, if you look at this little section right here, it's cut out and there's a little tab right there. And so to remove this bolt, you would simply hold the trigger down, slide that to the rear this little tab right here, I just use an ink pen, stick it in there, and then you can remove your bolt, just like that. So, to put it back, just in reverse, uh, put a little pressure on it, push that back. Hang on. You about gotta have three hands to do this, <laughs> but trust me, it works. It's, uh... Alright. Alright, there we go. So, Make sure, because uh, I was wondering how am I going to get my bolt out, and then I realized that they do this little recess cut out here. So the magazines are nice. It has a nice big paddle uh, for the magazine release right there. Um, but the magazine's going nice and snug. There's a little bit of play, not a whole lot. All right, so let's keep going down the rifle here. Let me get my bipod straightened up. It released itself there. Um, so on the bottom section here, and I'll show you. Let's take a look. Right along there, there is, make sure my camera, sorry guys, you know, without my camera, man, it's uh, kind of tough sometimes. Uh, all along here, it um, has M-Lock. So I like a Harris bipod, just kind of what I've been used to over the years. Uh, for you guys that want to run an Atlas or something like that, you may just want a piece. It may just go directly into that M-Lock section. So again, one of the things they sell a la carte or extra is a uh, sling stud that it's already drilled and tapped, ready to go. All you have to do is buy the stud and stick it in. I don't know if any other, like a factory stud out of your rifle would work. I don't know what the thread pattern compared to the, I just, for 10 bucks, I bought theirs. So I knew it would be right. That was able, that way I was able to add this Harris bipod, no issues at all. It just screwed in. Then I attached my Harris bipod. This should go without saying, but I will show you. Of course, it is free float all the way back to the action, just like that. So, excellent product, guys. I, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest with you. Um, I am going to the range uh, tomorrow to sight in this new uh, Arkin scope that I have here. And now that I've got everything torqued to spec correctly and all that, uh, I expect good things out of it. But I've been wanting to move to a chassis. Uh, if you follow my channel, this is kind of a full circle video. Uh, for the channel because my original video that I started my whole YouTube channel with was the precision rifle build off of this chassis. I'm, I'm sorry, off of this uh, action here, this Savage Model 10. And at the time, I put it in a choked uh, tactical stock, and uh, it, it was good. It was just heavy, and um, as of in the last, especially five to seven, eight years, chassis have really come around, and even they're making... MDT actually makes chassis for quite a few manufacturers using for their factory guns they sell off the shelf. So that's just kind of cool uh, that they do that. I know they make the Savage 22 tactical, whatever it is, precision rifle. It's an MDT chassis uh, and so forth. But they make a lot of different chassis configurations uh, or variations for whatever rifle you have. So if you've got one of the Savage Axes, I'm pretty sure they have this Auric for it uh, if you wanted to do something like that. But 
Anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. I want to thank uh, the folks over at MDT Auric for allowing me to review this, giving me that uh, little discount for uh, purchase. That was greatly appreciated. And uh, if you got any questions, post those below. If you've got another chassis or something that you like or you've used the Auric, uh, be sure to give us some feedback about your experiences with it, and that would be greatly appreciated. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.